stay safe 24-7. Please stay focused out there, please look out for each other. All of you to lead by example. And act to identify and mitigate safety risks. Keep an eye out for each other and stay out of each other's line of fire. Geovert's a ground engineering company that specialises in all forms of ground engineering. The other thing they specialise in is difficult access, using rope access techniques. It's a very specialised field and um, Geovert has developed um, over the, the 11 or so years that we've been in business a very good reputation internationally um, within this small field. locations are very difficult access, very steep terrain and um, the only way you can perform that work is through rope access. Uh, it's a very specialised industry and all the crew on site here are rope access specialists. This is a Rio Tinto iron ore open cut mine. Basically they had a hit collapse. Um, a substantial amount of the face gave way and this particular project is important because they've got quite a lot of high grade iron ore at the bottom of this slip. And the only way they can get to it is by pulling machines in there and they're concerned that the movement of that, that traffic will loosen the overburden at the top and they'll have another collapse. We um, sent geotechnical engineers there to take a look. Um, we proposed a concept solution to them that um, they liked the sound of a uh, budget price for that and from there there was a series of steps we followed to take it through to a detailed design. We're installing a product called Teco Mesh. We're pinning it into the wall to a depth of about four metres with grouted bars. That mesh is then laid over the top of the bars and secured by spike plates and uh, a boundary rope which is a steel wire rope that covers the whole boundary of the slip. idea what had to be done, they wanted to seek external advice. We were able to come with a solution that was going to work for Rio and that could be constructed by Geovert. The only way we can get to that part of the face is using rope access techniques to man the drills and lower the drills down on, on turf or cables which are secured to the top of the face. We're working you know, down to a, a maximum height of the bench is about 150 metres. The guys are in suspension down to about 50 metres. Uh, the lowest point on the face that we'll be drilling will be about 100 metres from the crest. Generally, most of the holes have been drilled within 25 to 30 metres from the crest. Rio in the industry uh, recognises setting the benchmark for health and safety. Rio Tino have a very strict policy with safety. They, uh, they need to because it's a high risk environment that they work in. They've got a lot of heavy plant, uh, they've got a lot of machinery around that could be quite harmful to employees. We at Geovert also have a very firm grasp on safety. It's been an evolution of techniques and equipment that we've spent a lot of time, effort and concentration to develop in-house. These cages we were requested by Rio Tino to install on the drill rigs because um, the manufacturer don't provide a safety cage around them. Uh, Rio Tino, with their safety policy on site, wanted these cages installed. So we've manufactured these on site. 
uh, our fitter put them together and um, they seem to be doing the job quite well. And Rio are happy with uh, the way they came out. And... Working with Rio Tindo on this project has, has proven that, that those sort of safety um, policies and, and those safety procedures that we both adopt working together um, create a good safe culture for everyone on site. Just reminds us to stay safe 24 7 and uh, urges uh, all of you to lead by example and act to uh, identify and mitigate safety risks. Keep a close focus on your own and your, your colleagues' safety. So just look out for each other there today. Every morning when we come to work, we have a pre-start meeting. That involves the Rio Tinto representative that's looking after us on site. They'll discuss any specific safety hazards. For example, if there's a blast that day, if we're gonna have any vehicle traffic through our area, if anything's gonna disrupt our normal work pattern. Then I give a pre-start to, to the crew, which is based on what we have to do that day. Please stay focused out there. Please look out for each other and maintain our discipline with the line of fire issues. Guys have been doing a good job today, particularly with that scaling. And that's all I want to cover with the safety. Just keep an eye out for each other and stay out of each other's line of fire. Uh, work, work Any safety concerns that the crew may have with the tasks that we're doing, we'll also review our job safety analysis and our um, safe work method statements as a group. Um, and if we need to make a step change with, with anything that we've got to progress with that day, we'll do that then and there. And we do that every morning as a site policy, plus we do it regardless whether it's a Rio Tindo site. Just on our own smaller jobs, we conduct a pre-start meeting every morning. The thing that differentiates us is a design-build solution. And for a mining client that's got a collapse in their high wall and stopping mining, they want to be able to come or get a solution. One stop, turnkey, they want the answer and go. And, and that's where we've developed a client base with um, some of the largest mining clients in the world.